Hello and welcome to the Quiver channel. I'm Jason, your host. I am not a healthcare professional. I am just someone who's dealt with cancer myself, dealing with cancer with my dogs, and my wife had cancer, and I dealt with that. And one of the biggest killers when it comes to cancer, to most kinds of cancer, is lack of true nutrition. You see, when you have cancer, one of the first things to disappear is your appetite. It can be so har harrowing to see. I saw it so many times. Me and my wife had a really dark sense of humour. And we always said that one of the best um, weight loss programs ever is if you've got cancer. Because depending on the type of cancer, if it's um, blood based or if it's um, non area specific, it's not if it's not a tumor based cancer, um, it will still be ravaging your body. And the treatment that they use with it, the radiation and everything else will mess up your ability to eat will mess up your appetite will you will feel like imagine having the worst flu possible the worst illness is possible your appetite goes out the window you know you've got to eat in that but you're you're nauseous because of the meds or thingy and you just i think that's why that's why in um, cancer wards and that in a lot of places they have ice cream options or burgers or basically you can order anything you want at any time because they know that keeping the nutrition in your body, keeping your levels up is paramount to your survival. They can only do so much if you don't feed yourself, if you don't get food into you. And it's hard. It's hard. And if you've got a tumour, tumours are, are random, exponential, immortal cell growth without any off button or thingy. And they can consume a massive amount of goodness from your body. This is why you see so many people who go into hospital and cancer just fade away. It's a horrible thing. It's something that happens and you have to be prepared for that both as a patient and as someone who's actually looking after them. You have to. They have all these wonderful nutritional shakes and that that go down easily and that, that are, are packed with nutrition of every kind and, that, and they have them in different flavors and different specific types of nutrient for the body and it's all so that try and combat this effect because chemotherapy also dis can destroy your ability to eat i remember one time paula was in hospital so long ago and I got quite annoyed because she got so tired of the medication the chemotherapy that <laughs> this was before the primary treatment this was when they were just basically trying to force the cancer into remission and it was wrecking her and she was at a low point in the hospital and I found out that she, I noticed that she was hiding her medication in the plant pot. She would basically, the medication they were giving her, she was putting it in the actual, sticking it down the side of the, the plant in the room. It can be her rough. Most people do not die from the primary cancer 
at different times. They die from the side effects of the cancer. Like with Paula, it was the damage from the medication that was keeping the cancer away that destroyed her heart and her kidneys and caused her to go on dialysis. And then this affected how much stuff was going on in her body. And then the damage from medically induced diabetes and it all sort of piles on and if you get an infection if you get a um, thing is you don't get over the infections you can get a cold that can last for six months and your body just can't shift it because its immune system is shot my immune system is shot I mean me personally with my thankfully I didn't have to have chemotherapy and that was a tactical choice um, in some ways I was lucky I am still classed as being in remission from cancer because it will come back at some point in time in the future there's no way to this kind of cancer doesn't get just go away so um, after my surgery and that and everything that happened I am in that's why I was one of the earliest ones to be put in the shielding and that when COVID was about to stop the chance of catching it because my immune system is screwed. Add to that that depression can affect your immune system badly. And so, yeah. There is a lot of help out there but it's also so so sucky cancer and that is such a horrible thing it's basically your body rebelling and home harming yourself you're, you're fighting your body now thankfully mine hasn't come back yet and it's a roll of the dice each year it's all they can do um and live life and appreciate things it's what we do but yeah one of the things that helped my wife actually survive cancer was before cancer she was overweight so she was overweight before she had cancer and so she had a large amount that she could lose before getting into the danger phase. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. I mean, I just like to talk about these things now and then, do new videos about them, to remember people that they are not alone and that we need to talk about these problems. So this is Jason for the Quiver Channel. I've just I've been in touch with my the department of work and pensions about my disabilities and that just because got to add notes about autism now that I've been officially diagnosed with it. Oh, oh tired today. So I hope you're all having a wonderful day. This is Jason for the Quebec Channel.